This is a project for Pahamar and Neptune Pink. It took me the better part of an hour, but I figured it out. This is my factorization charcoal automation. Now, the tree farm part is not automated. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm working up to that point. However, manually chop down the trees. I could put all the saplings in here, leaves if I wanted to. There's my ax. Um, yeah, that's our, that's our, pack, our weird pack. Anyway, um, so I chop down the trees, put them in here, and then slowly but surely they get pulled out of here. I'll show you if you watch this. Boop. It pulls one out, and it's going to go up here. I've got directional speed, everything. It's going to get that log deposited in there, and then... Right now, what I have to do, let's go out of creative mode. Oh, God, not adventure mode. And let's do a full stack of this. Right now, I do not have a loop, a part of the loop that does automated putting in of coal. That would be the next trick, so to speak. I haven't figured that out. However, Manually, this will stock up. I can come over here and put another stack in periodically. Now, what I probably should do is optimize this for eight at a time. That way, eight get put in and charcoal doesn't get wasted. Option number two is for us to build furnace heater using a furnace coil. That, I think, would be the most ideal solution because this entire servo system has to have power anyway. Right now, I'm using these. Oh, yeah, let me... Right now, I'm using those. I'm just dumping hidden batteries. I think they're supposed to be creative cells, but I'm not sure. Where did my thing go? Oh, it's off the rails. Oh, God. Um... Oh, no, that's my test one. Never mind. I was testing the robotic arm. Here it is. Yes, this has got an item socket in it. It has got something called an item shifter in the socket. Then we actually have a block socket, or a socket block right here, that lets you use these same accessories for the servo on full blocks. This is literally a kind of a sideways, a directional hopper. And what it's doing is it's pulling out and giving this one log at a time. What I should do is up that to eight. Let me see if I can... I think I can do eight. And then... Pulse exact amount. Then I think I need to get rid of that. Some of this I'm still figuring out, but I slow it down here so I can pull the maximum amount out of it. Uh, basically, you can set these things to streaming mode. Expert from This is sending out a specific amount. I want it to send out a specific amount. It's going to have too many now. That's going to throw the process out of order. I'm um, just going to pull as much as possible. And see, that's not pulsing. I don't know why. This is the part that I'm having a hard time with. Um, I don't think that that pulse is going very far, which means what I probably need to do But right now, I'm going to get my pulse instruction. I'm going to do a pulse. And I'm going to get some redstone. Let's do it old school. I don't know what this is going to achieve. But we'll see if it actually nets us anything. I might need to. I actually don't know if I can go under. We'll see if this lights up here in a second.
Yeah, but I don't think it went to the block. Let's do that. Um, do a repeater. And see if that does it. Hmm. I'm trying to get the signal off of this. And I do think it's grabbing it. But I don't think it did anything. Okay. So I'm going to get all of this. I had a clock here somewhere. Let's see if that works. And then I need to remove those. But basically, I want this to pull off as much of the actual wood as possible. Yeah, it's not doing anything. And I'm actually going to use that, keep that the same. Oh, there we go. Okay, so some part of that is doing it. I think it's the sum amount. If it doesn't, I think if I put it at exact amount and it doesn't have that, it gets confused. Um, let's see if it'll do it without the clock. But this does actually work. It grabs the charcoal. See, the hopper is pulling out. I tried with hopper hopping barrels, but factorization hopping barrels I'm a little rusty on. They hop straight down into the barrel, like there is a hopper built into them, but I can't pull out the side. At least this can't. So, oh, wait a minute. I think I might know what's going on here. Hold on. I think I just made the same mistake. Let's put that there. And we're going to do some. Actually, let's do that. Let's put those in there. And let's see if this actually works now. I'm very proud of this because I've never used servos before. Everything that I have done, I've figured out from the factorization manual. That should dump all. Here we go. And let's see if we can get some. Out. So that pulse is working. That pulse... Should be working. Do I need to put another one there? We'll see. I need to speed this up, I think, over here. It's set the fastest. And then I slow it down here. But I might be able, now that I'm handing off more. Yeah, see, I don't know how to pull out of the actual factorization barrels. It just does not seem to be working for me. So I've been using hoppers. But I am now inserting eight at a time. Now the real decision is going to be if this cannot empty out, it keeps doing the loop with that wood in place until it can put it in. I should put a check in here to make sure that it doesn't hand off more if that thing already has eight in it, but I haven't figured out that far. This is about as advanced as I can get right now, but it does work, and this makes me very, very happy. Um, what I might do is I could make it loop back and forth, but I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, I think probably the better solution would be to have a barrel on top and have it put into the barrel. That way we have large amounts of volume and it doesn't get clogged up here. That might be a better notion. Uh, but I'll work on it. But for now, this is actually my factorization invention. I hope you like it. I hope it's informative.
We'll see if I do more later. Bye.